done 13. So I eventually met Mac and uh, Marcus Piss, and actually that's him who met me. Uh, here with his um, fairy and civic guard coming from what I think is his vassal. And um, so obviously they are stronger than me. Just the fairy alone could kill the um, um, cheetah, so I don't really have a choice if I want to survive. I could move in this direction, but I guess his army is, is there um, behind the water, so I cannot really reach them. So I think the best solution for me is just to move away uh, and try to disappear and hope that they, they won't follow me. And actually, if they follow me, it's not that bad either because. Um, it means they are going to waste some movement. And next turn, actually, I can cast uh, Scoot this March again because it will not be existed anymore. But I won't have the CP uh, available because I'm going to uh, cast Raise Militia. So let's move back for now. And uh, I will see. I think it's better to keep this unit alive um, and hope to do some stuff later on. Okay, then my um, scout found a cave entrance, which would probably uh, be close to to Mac. But I'm not sure um, how the river works, so maybe it's actually on on the main continent and not on the, on his side. So I will have to take it uh, next turn. But I used the haste berries. Um, considering it would be a, a shame to waste the opportunity to use uh, his berries and, and explore more and it was a good choice because it helped me to find the cave entrance. So Mac is playing uh, AD human more or less as I planned. Uh, I was expecting him to play AD but high health not human but human was also a logical choice. So I funded one city and made one a vassal which is probably the one I'm seeing. And it didn't. He, he met uh, Sinue, which is a bit worrying for me. Which means he he went uh, very f close to my throne, but I don't know where he is. Um. Yeah, which actually makes make make me think I should maybe have garrisoned this, uh, because he might be concealing himself on the forest. So I hope I won't lose this and the settler next turn. Didn't think about that earlier, which was maybe a mistake. Because I, I'm a bit surprised he met Sinue because I've got um, someone at this cave entrance, someone at this one. So I don't really see from where he could have come. Here I, I've got a good vision. So maybe he, he entered when I was um, not at the cave entrance anymore. I don't know. It's a bit worrying. Um, and otherwise he didn't meet the other cities, uh, which is good for me. Means he didn't go. He didn't do a lot of scouting. Didn't even meet the central um, dwelling. And he's playing Grey Guard Master like me. So Grey Guard definitely uh, strong him, strong spec uh, specialization. On my previous round, we were also both playing Grey Guard Master. So it probably means he wants to expand. And he was probably uh, worried I would be playing Necromancer. You know, he took adap water adapt uh, for rot and fighting Necromancer. So I guess he was worried I would be playing Necromancer, but I'm not. I did three fights this turn, and yeah. So here I'm not taking the Hesperus because I plan to um, take them with my my troops when I arrive here. I'm not yet sure how I w how I will move. Uh, I w definitely want to take the dungeon, but should I take the dungeon first and then move or the land? Um, not yet sure. What I know is that I want to clear this, this, and the dungeon, and then if I clear the dungeon, I should probably clear these three sites. Um, yeah, so I will think about that later. And so yeah, three fights this turn. First was the crystal tree, which I failed last last turn. And um, so this turn they didn't 
charge forward which made it a lot easier and I had position 1 elite cheetah on the right with my sorcerer to um, bait the um, not serpent so even if they, they had charged uh, it would still have worked and, and then I, I let them phase on me um, to one hit and then I can escape with sprint um, and so uh, with sprint I can just yeah escape without dying so I don't need to sacrifice a unit and still I, I bait them and I split them in two groups so with the rest of my units I, I move all of them on the left to get uh, hit once by the goblin apprentice and then I can kill him and I've got enough firepower with all my troops to kill uh, basically all three units the phantasm warrior and the two apprentices especially since now I have uh, charge command so my my cheat has with my leader have charge and they do plus six I think damage um, on the on the first hit on the pounds so they redo really a lot of damage to engage the fight I use my chariot as I often do I don't use uh, magic fist from my sorcerer because I, I prefer to keep the 20 CP to cast harmonizing energy so I move the the chariot just outside the range of the apprentice and so he might engage the fight himself but if he doesn't I can uh, do that so throw sun spear and by moving three axes forward and then moving back four axes uh, and I, I, I'm, I'm quite far so here it works as planned. I'm just in range of their phase. They phase. I actually do more damage to them than they do to me, more or less. Um, and then I can escape. Then, so I try to kill the units, but at the same time, I don't have to kill them. I don't have to kill them all at once uh, because. Um, if I don't have the damage output because I've got first strike so I, I try to put them at um, enough that low enough HP so that uh, they won't attack uh, because of first strike and yeah I tried to somehow maximize experience but I didn't fully uh, maximize on this fight which might have been a small mistake because um, I'm lacking just 10 experience points on my rogue to get to level 9 and yeah uh, it would have been great to be to, to, to get to level 9 then I've got only the two uh, not serpents left and I'm, I want to try to charm one so I let them come forward and I retreat somehow to um, get to wait for the cooldown of pounds to expire and same for the chosen spear and yeah then I, I let them come to me and uh, eventually I had to drain the action points of one of the of the node servants I used my um, orc to do that take two hits because of victory rush so I can heal at after each battle and I'm going to play three battles so I can heal uh, 30 HP in total yeah. So I actually wasn't really sure how to how to how to do it. I was hoping I could um, I could put the the one on the left at low HP so that I can just stay there uh, with first strike. But then I realized it was not possible. Possible, so I decided to drain the action points of the one on the left with two hits on my. Rogue uh, orc and one hit on the chariot, and then just kill the the one on the right. So eventually, I I should have done that maybe uh, earlier, but I used Godbreaker and finished it. And here I didn't really um, put the experience, um, didn't really maximize experience. I should have kept the, the killing blow for a hero to get 15 um, experience instead of giving it to a cheetah. And here I was lucky, 25% chance, and I managed to charm the Not Serpent. 
be a, a really nice addition um, because nut serpents are quite fast and quite strong and when they have when they reach uh, veteran they get plus eight mov uh, movement points and together with the um, the apprentice especially when the apprentice is is, is uh, floating the apprentice can mend them mend magical being and so it's a really strong team and uh, it could be a very strong team to attack um, Marcus so yeah got quite lucky then I did two more fights at the gold mines I tried to charm some units but failed twice with I think 25% and 40% chances um, and on the last battle because I've got a lot of mana and a very high income and I'm close to my limit so I used all my mana on, on my on my heroes so 20 casting points for harmonizing energy and um, 20 casting points to cast quick dash twice even if I didn't really need it uh, in the end because I'm going to heal with the field medic from my from my leader but um, it's good to use the mana to just get some experience from from spell casting. Um, so because Marcus is playing AD, so I need to fall back on my initial plan to produce monster hunters. Um, I need three turns to research monster hunters, but I'm probably going to research basic ciphering first. Actually, maybe not first because uh, when I get one more lab, I can just one turn it. So. Actually, I can also two turns monster hunters, so I'm going to see. But um, I need these two texts for sure, and probably I'm going to take some warfare also. Um, and so monster hunters, tigrants, uh, they cost 100 with the 20% cost reduction from training regimen. They cost 80, um, and so I need 80 here. So I'm probably going to after I produce a, f a few. Berserkers probably probably going to produce a seed workshop, and um, or maybe actually I don't need it because yeah I do need it yeah I do need it, and and yeah then I would produce the monsters monster hunters here and I would probably keep one monster hunter uh, at the surf, at, at each cave entrance to prevent the um, his hunters from coming in because the cheetah is not strong enough against a, a hunter so first I'm probably going to put two cheetahs and then uh, one monster hunter and uh, because he has concealment as an AD so I'm probably going to change my plan and go for some shrine and temple and then um, maybe some um, some altars altar of bone souls um, so uh, mystics with altar of pencils but it's very actually very expensive so it takes a lot of turns to build so I might just go first for some normal mystics and then later on I can upgrade so that I can uh, I get uh, true sight from the support I got a level up on my leader so I'm taking tireless and then keeping the other points for now Because he's playing AD, so I I don't really need frost or fire. I would need more blight actually, or shock if he has some nasty serpents. I hope he's not evolving one right now. And my um, sorcerer also got leveled up, and I'm not taking anything. Actually, I I I thought I took stunning. Touch, but I didn't. But I, I, I'm going to take that because it can be useful. It would have been useful on the previous fights to uh, increase uh, experience farming. But for the rest, I'm not yet sure. What's sure is I'm probably going to take inflict spirit breaking to increase charming chances. Um, even though my sorcerer is going to go with my leader at first, and phase and master regionist. That's for sure. So I got, yeah, I'm going to see how I move this one. I got, 
a new quest proposal again from the Giants, but I'm going to decline again because it's again a flying unit and it's quite close to Marcus, so it's a bit dangerous. Even though it's a nice uh, reward with two ogres. But I'm hoping to get a quest proposal from my vassal of Sinue next turn. And it should be easier to uh, achieve it and get some reward and better relationship. I got a proposal from the Orcs to um, become a vassal, but it's a bit expensive at 208 gold for an income of only 14, which means I need something like 15 turn to pay it back. It's, it's quite expensive. And they've got only a gold mine and nothing else inside their domain, so it's not really uh, a good place. So I don't think I'm going to accept even though I, I have the gold to pay for it, but it's not really cheap. Not not a lot of of gains for me. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. See you next time.